Presented by ChurchTechU.com, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, ProPresenter Troubleshooting. How do you solve the problem when the audio that's coming from the audio bin abruptly stops when slides change in your pre-service loop? Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach you all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Before we get started, if you've had this problem and that's why you're here, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. One of the things about ProPresenter is it is just capable of so much, but there are little nuances. And those nuances can come back and kind of uh, bite you if you don't know about them. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you exactly one of those things. So here's what I did. Um, I have, this is actually an episode of an old podcast I used to do. Maybe I'll bring it back sometime. It's all about video production um, before people really knew me for uh, doing ProPresenter tutorials. I did have an audio podcast about video production. So anyway, let me go ahead and I'm going to start this bad boy up. And you can see that uh, it's playing along here. Everything's cool. Now I go into my pre-service loop and watch. The second that I hit this, this is going to stop. So, And it stopped. Well, no problem. If I hit it again, okay, it's playing along. All is well until I go to the next slide. So what's going on there? Why is it that every time I change between slides, the audio from my audio bin just goes away? Um, by the way, this would still be the case if you had an action to play audio from your audio bin either way this would have this problem and the reason why is because you're probably doing this the way that I've advised you a hundred times and there's a good reason why I've advised you to do that normally what you want is you want as soon as you got off of this pre-service loop and you know you started this um, notice how this doesn't stay in the background. That's because this is a foreground and foregrounds only last as long as the slide that they're on is on. So how do you solve this problem? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. I think the way that I'm going to have you do it, this is going to be the most flexible for uh, having exactly the same situation. So what you're going to want to do is on each of these slides, instead of having them as foregrounds, now you could right click and go down to media action behavior and change that to background, and that would solve it. But here, let me show you what happens if this is a background instead of a foreground, and then you go down to the next element. So let me click on that again, and now I put this in, and uh-oh. I could solve that with an, an additional action that would um, clear that out, but there's something else I could do instead. And so if I go back up here and I'm going to right click and go to convert media action to slide element. So when I do that and I select this, then I go down here, here let me clear that out, okay. Now when I click on this and select that, notice it goes away. So that's kind of a best of the both worlds situation. So what I need to do is basically do that for all of these. So I'm just uh, dragging and selecting them so that they turn this blue color. Right click and go to convert media action to slide element. Notice there's no icon up in the upper left hand corner in any of these. 
Um, so that indicates that in fact what's going on is that it's on the slides layer itself. It's no longer on the media layer. And when you go from one slide to another, it's just as if it's a lyric slide, that it only lives on that layer. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So we go into edit slide here. I could have also clicked up here. And when I click on this, notice that down here, I have it, it's up here. It's on the slide itself. So this works best with still images. Um, you know, so if you wanted a background, that would be different, but better to do this with um, still images if you want to have those just one image per slide and you're good to go that way. We go back to show from the perspective of the congregation, it's the same, but now when I click on my MP3, notice that that's playing here. And when I go on, notice it continues to play. So it's kind of hard to see down here, but it is continuing to play. So that is how you do that, how you can have the media bin, or the audio bin rather, continue to play audio while you switch between slides with the pre-service loop, and probably the easiest way to do that in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my Pro 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash Pro 7 Quick. Just sign up right there and I'll get you a login to that course for free. And you can just take it at your leisure and uh, get up and running really fast it, with the basics of ProPresenter 7. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.